you see when you uh, look into the armed conflict in sub-Saharan Africa in general and in the Horn of Africa, the Sahel region in particular, you see, if you scrutinize these uh, conflicts, you see the silhouettes of two approaches mm. to conflict analysis. The one school of thought maintains that all, practically all these conflicts are due to the resource conflicts. And resource by resource here they mean natural natural and, and social resources. Natural resources, land, water, pasture, etc. And uh, uh, social resources are political power, for example, etc. So this school of thought, this approach actually, you know, rather than a school of thought, maintain that Conflicts in Sub-Saharan Africa are mainly due uh, to conflicts over resources, uh, natural or, or social. The other approach uh, maintains that conflicts are actually uh, caused by uh, grave differences in uh, uh, identity issues, religious conflicts, cultural conflicts, ethnic conflicts, with the emphasis on ethnicity and the major culprit in uh, this respect. I, in a paper I published in 1997, I came to the conclusion that both are, are actually right. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 the one is, 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 is looks at the, the beginning of the conflict, starts over resources, whatever these resources are, and the other actually looks at the, res at, 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 at the, the conflict after a passage of certain uh, amount, span of time. Mm. And so they both see the same thing but a different uh, temporal uh, uh, situations. Let's take an example. Let's take, start with a very homogeneous community that through uh, climate and political uh, influences have, di have diverged. Mm. The one uh, became a, a, a settled agricultural community and the other uh, went on to to herd animals and became mm -hmm. pastoralists. The one is settled, the other is roaming uh, the old empty spaces. In the, with the passage of time, the settled people have de developed customs that are compatible with the way they live. Mm. And they develop a culture that is agricultural, really intrinsically agricultural. And their food uh, culture changes, mm. their songs, the way they marry, the way they are born, the way they die, and uh, their mythology. Mm. They become to develop a mythology all their own. Mm. The same thing happens among the herders, mm. pastoralists. Their way of life also uh, demands from them uh, certain customs, certain cultures uh, everywhere. F again, in food, in song, in marriage, in in in, in base, birth and death, and they also develop their own mythology. They both develop an understanding of themselves yeah. based on a years, a long years of doing, earning their living the same way. Mm -hmm. And well, they, they can live, and they do most of the time live very peacefully together. Mm -hmm. They also need each other. Mm -hmm. The 
a peasant needs meat and, and, and milk and leather and, and all the things the pastoralists can provide. Mm. And on, on the other side, the pastoralists need agricultural produce. Uh, they, 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 they need things to carry with them in, in the long months they spend outside on habitation, human habitation. And so a, a beneficial, mutual uh, uh, give and take yes. takes place among the two communities.